Hey guys, welcome back. BBCKR here. We're back with our weekly recap. This recap is for the week of September 20th, 2018. The current character challenge is Batman Beyond Animated, and that is a one-week repeat challenge. The required characters for that are Harley Quinn, Bane, and Joker, who are bronze, silver, and silver. So not the easiest that it could possibly be to get, but very eminently achievable. Yeah, when I was first checking it out, I saw the title at the top of the challenge page saying Batman Beyond, and got a little bit excited before I realized it was for animated Batman Beyond. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll get into that a little bit after. But So he's got middling stats. He's base uh, 1,100 damage and base 1,050 health. So he's definitely been superseded by all the the power creep, the, new the newer ones, guys. Yeah. And he's got an interesting passive that gives you different abilities from doing specials. The problem is that they don't last long enough to be really meaningful, and mm -hmm. we've got lots of other Batmans, Batmen, that mm -hmm. play just as well, but offer something better in their passes, right? So, um, anime Batman Beyond, you get basic damage boost with special one, you get uh, crit chance with special two, and with the super, you get boosted crit damage. Yeah. Interesting. But the, all right, so the funny thing is, originally when I saw that at the tell, I thought, oh, it's Batman Beyond, and I got real excited because I thought, he's never been a challenge. He was only a rare drop in the gold packs. And he was also, I think, one of the console unlocks. So if you did something on the console version of the game, you yeah. would get to um, use him. Yeah. And I think it's interesting, potentially, just because with Tantu Totem now, you might actually be able to use crit chance or crit damage more effectively by doubling them both up together, right? If you're lucky. Yeah. I I guess, uh, although when you're when you're working with the Tantu Totem, in order for it to come back, you need to knock somebody out. Yeah, yeah. So. And because each effect wears off, then if you're tagging out to get the power back to, to do another special, it's not that useful. Mm -hmm. So once you've done the special, or once you've done the Tantu Totem a couple of times, uh, special two, for example, then the third guy is going to be totally, you know, crit chance uh, every hit. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I think that definitely there's something interesting in that. So, yeah, yeah, not bad. It's it's definitely an older. It's been a few years since we've seen them in the mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm, for sure. Uh, and then for multiplayer online, we have Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, and finally, after a long run of more than ten gear seasons, so it's been a while since we've been able to get a character. Right. And when she first came out, so again, we're, we'll talk historically again, right? She was amazing. She was mm -hmm. one of the newer cards. She had great stats. She had a great passive, but she's not really holding her own that well against the newer cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Her tag and damage is interesting, uh, but it ruins tag and stun, unfortunately, so you can't take advantage of it. Right. So you, if you're doing the, the sort of classic back yeah. roll loadout Cloak of Destiny. with Cloak of Destiny and um, the League of Assassins and Knives and lex Corp gauntlet or in her case maybe something to give her a power bar yeah. so you, the 20 percent stun on the cloak of destiny is totally useless because her tag and damage breaks a stun mm -hmm. now she's still got that advantage where she stuns on the first low damage part of her special one so it starts yeah. with a stun and the rest of the damage on her special you get you know a huge amount of stun boosted uh, cloak of destiny damage yeah pretty crazy except she's not like Batgirl prime it's multi hits after that so a lot of them will whiff because she does enough damage to knock out the guy so the ones that whiff don't give you splash damage mm -hmm. uh in the store we have the suicide squad deadshot cashback for 25 dollars 99 canadian and that's you know too expensive straight up oh for sure yeah. it's not worth it uh cash packs cashbacks almost, almost never, never are right yeah yeah oh um, jinx <laughs> yeah especially with the challenge reset you know there's just not a huge point in spending any money when you could just spend your time yeah because assuming you actually like the game and that's why you're willing to spend money on it it in that case makes more sense to just play the game and i probably said this a lot but i think if you're going to be spending money to support the devs the cards. best value you can get is for energy yeah exactly yeah if you like the game you pay money to play it more the way that you want to with the characters that you want to without having to yeah. wait that's i agree we also have the blackest night martian manhunter challenge pack and that gives you the 6.16 percent chance it's basically the same as all the other 
challenge packs that give you a specific character, except it's so unlikely for them to actually give you that character, even though they're the prime focus that it it's almost not worth discussing. Like the increased chance is so minor, right? It's it's negligible, really, in the grand yeah. scheme of things. Completely agree with with the amount of money that a player can get without glitching, hacking, or paying real money. Yeah, yeah, and we also have the survivor pack, which comes with Mortal Kombat X Scorpion, Scorpion, and Bounty Hunter Lobo. Yeah, it's totally not worth it. Six hundred seventy thousand credits, we can do so much better. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anything, out of those three guys, there's probably only one of them, Bounty Hunter Lobo, that I I have fun playing with, and that's only because the Tantu Totem. Yeah. Now, moving on from the stuff that Injustice is currently doing to the stuff that the Injustice devs aren't doing, fixing Survivor. Survivor's still broken on Android. It's still only giving out Suicide Squad companion gear, and it's saying that it's LexCore now. Right. All right. So, and, you know, after a a few people were saying, oh, there's going to be a new update on the 20th, uh, 20th, there's only a few hours left in it, and I'd been hoping that if they were going to do an update that they would fix Survivor, but not only have they not fixed Survivor, there hasn't been an update yet but maybe hopefully by the time we post this video maybe there will be something and they've got i mean they've got a few hours left right yeah that would be good moving on to the current glitches just remember that every working glitch is explained in a video as part of the playlist that you can reach by clicking the i in the top right corner of this video we're android only so we're only able to confirm these glitches for android yeah if you're on ios and you see a question from an ios user asking for help in the comments please consider helping them out now, one thing somebody mentioned was an iOS user, I'm assuming, had asked for some way to have the comments for uh, regarding iOS sort of collected somewhere. I don't know that there's any real mechanism <laughs> in YouTube for that, but well, I guess if you... as a forum. Yeah, or you could just, you know what, make a comment uh, specifically as a starting point for other iOS users and maybe if you can get enough other users to like it or respond to it that'll actually boost it up to the top yeah. of the comments. Yeah, just start an iOS user comment thread if you feel like it. Right. Um as far as glitches, the glitch for unlimited multiplayer season rewards is still working and we confirmed that today on last season's Batmobile. Mhm. And the glitch to get them early to get season rewards early is still working also. And uh, we confirmed it on the current Cassandra Kane Batgirl season. Mm-hmm. And we also confirmed it to be working when combined with the unlimited rewards. So we did that with uh, Cassandra Kane Batgirl a few times. Mm-hmm. If you're having trouble, just disconnect and reconnect to the internet twice before swiping out injustice. And remember to always wait a second or two after you've connected. Um, after you've confirmed that you're fully reconnected, it isn't enough that the icon for the Wi-Fi is lit. If the exclamation mark is there, you're not connected to the internet. It has to be connected right. with internet, not connected, no internet. Yeah, and I'm looking at this and I'm feeling really old too because wh- whenever I talk about the history of the game, the last time we had a glitch for unlimited multiplayer rewards, it lasted only six weeks after we posted the video. And this time, our video has been up for, we're day shy of 14 weeks back mm-hmm. on the 15th of June. So, so there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a warning for iOS users, we don't recommend the method other people have been using to do the glitch on iOS because you might lose your progress, and that doesn't seem worth it to us. Uh, we can't stop anybody from doing it, but we highly recommend against it because we've been getting you know, reports here and there that people are losing everything, which just seems like a really sad way to um, what would probably end up killing my love for Injustice. Like, I don't think I'd be able to restart at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we haven't done it, right? We've built up accounts from the beginning. We've done a whole bunch of stuff. I just, at this point, for sure. It's been, because, mm-hmm. what are we talking, five years now? Yeah, content's locked off now because Survivor yeah. is broken. You know, different stuff like that. Yeah. Really, yeah. really hard. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and it seems to be happening much more rarely on Android. So our advice on Android is to wait long enough after you connect to the internet to avoid problems and, you know, backups and stuff. Just general safety tips for yeah. keeping your data not just in Warner Brothers' right. hands. Right. All right, so the breakthrough glitch let you play it repeatedly, still working. Some people are having trouble even on Android, and we've cut and pasted into the description a comment from a viewer with a potential solution, but we can't test it because we've actually never run into problems doing it the way we've described it in our video. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bo 
both challenge reset methods are working, both the one that requires Google Play Cloud Save and the one that doesn't. You confirm that on Animated Batman Beyond. Uh, and even though it's more of a hassle, do the one with the Cloud Save because that's just one extra save. That's one more chance that you don't lose everything when it looks like you might. Right. Okay. Uh, the airplane mode slash refund glitch still working. Good for both packs with random drops, also known as loot boxes, and last laugh tickets. Mm -hmm. Time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. As always, turn the countdown clock back to normal before you finish. Yep, free energy without uh, having to watch the video probably still works if you still have the working button for free energy, which we don't, <laughs> which you can see in our play videos, which has been the case for months and months after we experimented to try to create the situation so we could work on a solution. And guess what? We were able to successfully create the situation where we lost our free energy button, but we were unable to come up with a solution. Hubris. Yes. <laughs> We've cut and pasted one iOS user, Dragons952, They've got a potential solution, and we put that in the description if your free energy button is grayed out on iOS. Wish we were on iOS to confirm, but I guess on the balance, I don't really wish I was on iOS. I do like Android as a platform. Yeah. All right, so, and the promotion glitch where you can promote characters that are still locked still hasn't had the right conditions since update 2.14, and we're at 2.21 now. Mm -hmm. So it's still not testable, still not usable, but we've left it in the playlist for reasons, which we've explained before, but better to be prepared in case this, the conditions come up and we will remove it from that list when the conditions are up and it actually fails us mm -hmm. hasn't yet and now it's time to talk about us we have a patreon and if you want to support what we do with more than just reviews we'd appreciate it if you clicked on our avatar at the bottom right corner at the end of the video or went to patreon.com slash bdckr and tossed us a couple bucks and we want to give a huge thank you to the people who have already made that very generous decision we have Console Peasant, Eddie G, and Edwin Felix, who are all supporting us at the top tier last word. Oh, and a special message actually for Eddie G. Um, he asked us a question on Patreon, it, and it sort of occurs to me now that he might have been expecting us to answer in the Q and C and A and T two days ago, when we actually answered it immediately after with a lengthy post on Patreon that uh, he may not have seen. So mm -hmm. maybe unless he lets us know that he saw it here or on Patreon, we're going to add that to, we're going to read our answer in next week's Q and C and A and T. Maybe that's one of the extra benefits actually of being a patron is that signal boosting the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we also have iProfit who is supporting us at the, your message here tier and also just kind of supporting us in our general venture as YouTubers and just, <laughs> you know, being, very yeah, no, we really appreciate it. Yeah, not only in the comments, but he's been doing timestamps for our Q and C and A and T videos, which we greatly appreciate. Mm -hmm. And we also have Sean Farrell, Lane, and Daniel Simonson who are supporting us on the credited level. Thank you guys mm -hmm. so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda. <laughs>